Hey, this is Mike with Writing in the Ozarks, and today we're talking about the Harley-Davidson Revival. We think the Revival is a secret model that they're going to launch in 2021. They teased some clips of this motorcycle during the 2021 launch event, and I did a video about it back in February. Now, since I've done that video, I picked up on a rumor, I figured some stuff out, and a few things have been confirmed. So let's start with what's been confirmed. Motorcycle.com updated their article on March 10th and confirmed even though the bike was approved for the Milwaukee 107 or 114 by the EPA, the CARB documentation confirmed it will be the Milwaukee 8 114. Now I've been doing a little research on this on my own and I found these tank emblems that are a date range from 1966 to 1971. They look very similar to this tank emblem, huh? Well, so I thought at first, maybe it would be a 1971 to 2021 50th anniversary edition. So while researching this, I came across these images of 1969 electric glides. Let's take a look at the paint scheme and see how this lines up with what was teased in the video. Notice, these are a two-tone paint job with the emblem splitting the colors and a white pinstripe. Wait, now, here's what sealed the deal. This is a 1969 Electroglide. Blue, black, white pinstripe. Looks pretty much like the same deal, huh? Okay, so let's go back over what I feel is confirmed. I feel I can confirm this is gonna be based off a 1969 Electroglide because the paint scheme matches. I definitely believe it will be the 114 also based off the documentation that Motorcycle.com was able to obtain. All right, let's get into the rumor. The rumor is it's going to be a limited edition production run. My dad has a 1988 Springer Softail. That was an 85th anniversary edition, and it was the first year of the Springer with the Evo engine. So they made a limited production run of those. They were numbered up to 1,450 units. I don't remember exactly what number my dad has, but you can go out and look that up and see that there were a limited production numbered run. I think they're going to do something like that with this electric glide, the Revival. The question is, will they only make 1,450 of them to make them more exclusive and charge a premium price for them? Or do you think the production run will be higher than 1,450 units? All right, if we look at this image from 1969, we can see that this bike has two up seating, but it does not come with the tour pack. So I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that the Revival will not come with the tour pack, but it will come with two up seating standard. And I expect there to be hardware docks to put on sissy bars, quick detach tour packs, etc. Since this is a limited production model, I expect it to be a premium model. I don't think they will put it out like the current Electric Glide standard with no radio. I think there's going to be some kind of stereo in it. The question will be, will it be the Harley Davidson Boom Entertainment Center? Or will they go with that new Rockford Fosgate Stage 2 audio system that's coming out in the CVOs? Now that would be pretty cool, but probably not likely. Before we wrap this up, I want to know from you guys, what kind of features would you like to see on an Electric Glide Premium Edition model called the Revival? I've already said they should include a stereo. Do you think they will include something like the Reflex Defensive Rider System as a standard option, or will that still be an add-on? What other types of features do you think should be standard on a limited edition Electric Glide? I want to say thank you to my current channel members for supporting the channel and allowing me to make content like this. If you would like early access to videos like this as well, consider joining down below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you do that YouTube thing, check out the content on my channel. And if you dig it, don't forget to subscribe down below, ring that bell to be notified the next time I drop a new video. And as always, thank you for support. Stay safe and keep on riding.